it's a pleasure to present the next speaker. It's he, he is uh, Ronald Manriquez. Uh, he's a PhD, PhD, PhD student at universities of Rouen and Paris Saclay. Uh, again, uh, sorry for my French pronunciation. Uh, he, he works with uh, almost Riemannian geometry and uh, he will talk about the distance induced by the solvable approximations at a singular point of an almost remain structure. It's nice to have you here. Okay, thank you very much. And good, good, af uh, good morning, good afternoon. I don't know everyone. Um, my name is Ronald. I am PhD, PhD student under the direction of uh, Philip John. And uh, my <clears throat> presentation is about uh, almost remain structure. Uh, in particular, the distance induced by the sub approximation at the singular point of an Riemann structure. So, an overview. Uh, I I will give a brief background, and we explain the framework in this. Uh, in our problem, I will define the subvivable approximation in this case. And finally, I will show the contribution in the three dimensional generic case. So, uh, some uh, definition uh, has explained it very good uh, for, by Philip. So, Maybe uh, we can skip, for instance, this is the definition of the large condition. So I, 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 I consider only um, local definition, so on Rn, because uh, we are interested in local questions. So uh, this uh, definition is, is enough. So the, if, if you have a set of vector field, that satisfies the Lie algebra on an open subset of Rn. This is the Lie algebra generated by this vector field at every point is the tangent space of Rn. The definition of an almost urban structure we can skip because is uh, Philip is uh, show it. This is important. The metric is defined by declaring the frame to be orthonormal. So this is very important here. An example uh, uh, the, the is easy example, but a, a simple example. This is better. And, and a simple example is the Gaussian plan defined by this vector field, and the singular set is is when x is zero, and this is the um, representation of, 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 of the of the lab, of dynamical of the Gaussian plan. So, uh, in, in general, the Nilpotel approximation is uh, defined uh, thank you to uh, one parameter family of dilatation, defined by this equation. So, from here, we can define uh, if a vector field is homogeneous of degree s. So, a vector field is homogeneous of degree s if satisfies this equation, where uh, this star is the pullback action. So, from here, from here, here. Uh, we can express to express a vector field as a series uh, of homogeneous vector field of this form, where each component is a component of degree s according to the previous uh, definition. So, if we set uh, x hat like the homogeneous component of degree minus one, we have the definition of the Nilpotent approximation. So the family of the vector field 
is called the nilpotent approximation of the system at P. So uh, what, what happens here? In some case, uh, we know the nilpotent approximation, uh, the approximation no longer an um, almost Riemann structure, but a constant ranks one uh, because some vector field of the nilpotent approximation vanish or vanishes in, in, the, in this case. So uh, in this uh, work, on this framework, I, I, uh, we are interested when only one vector field vanishes and the other one are independent. For instance, uh, we consider x1, x2, and x3, the final for this expression. So its nilpotent approximation is this. According to the previous related by by Philip. Okay, uh, what is our propose? Uh, our propose is recovering the almost human structure lost in the nilpotent approximation with a vector field denoted by x tilde, x tilde, which is the homogeneous component of the v zero of the vector field that vanishes. Of course. Uh, different from zero. So, formally, what is the subvigal approximation? Uh, now we consider a an, an set of vector field x1 to xn, defining an almost Riemann structure on an open neighborhood of zero. P or the point zero is uh, belong to the singular set, and the natural uh, coordinate. Uh, to be privileged, uh, and we consider the nilpotent approximation like this. So the last vector field xn uh, vanishes in the nilpotent approximation. So this is your uh, uh, series where uh, each component is of the V, uh, in, in this case, uh, so we denote x n tilde the homogeneous component of degree zero. So we have the following definition. This family uh, with this nilpotent approximation and the homogeneous component of degree zero is the subvivor approximation of this family at p equals zero. Okay. Some um, uh, some definition before uh, before the result. So an uh, absolutely continuous curve gamma is admissible if there exists uh, some uh, function called a uh, function control uh, such that satisfies this condition. This uh, the derivative of gamma uh, belong to the um, uh, distribution. Uh, so the length of this curve, the length of gamma, is defined for for this uh, uh, equation, and the almost Riemannian distance uh, associated uh, with this almost Riemannian structure is defined by the infimum of the length of the old curve that from P0 to P1. For instance, an example, if we consider P0 and P1, and gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma 3, and gamma 4, different curve from P0 to P1. If the infimum of the the length of this curve is uh, the length of two, uh, gamma 2, then the distance between P0 and P1 is the length of gamma 2. So, we have 
<coughs> three different oh, three, three different structure. The original structure, the nilpotent approximation, and the subviable one. So this give risk to three different or three no no not different uh, maybe uh, 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 maybe maybe are uh, equal I don't know but we we have three distance defined by the original structure the nilpotent approximation and the super approximation another d d hat and d tilde respectively so and a proposition is the is the the d tilde is always uh, less than uh, d hat so this is is very simple proof but is 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 very important in in our work okay let's go to the um, three dimensional generic case in this paper buscan and his team the author gives a local representation of a vector field at the point where the tangent space of the singular set is equal to the linear space generated by the vector field S1, X2, and X3. This is X1, X2, X3, where delta and theta are uh, smooth functions. Don't forget uh, delta and theta because uh, are important. So in this case, uh, the nilpotent approximation is an Heisenberg subremanent structure because the last vector field vanishes in the nilpotent approximation. And X3 tilde we can define by this vector field. So it is the same vector field uh, or the, the, the same example uh, that Philip showed us. So um, we consider gamma a geodesic for D from Q to Q prime with uh, the norm of, uh, of gamma is, is one and gamma tilde, the admissible group for D tilde, defined by the same control function like um, gamma, starting in the same point. So the objective is to see how this pair of curve diverges in the time. For this, we set the pseudo norm, defined, defined like this. So we did not, uh, this is a um, representation uh, of the ball. Uh, the two curve starting in Q with the same fun fun uh, function control. So and proposition, the difference between this dot curve is bounded for this expression. This is, 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 is good because the pen of the order of delta and the order of theta. So we can we can impose some condition and we have a proposition that if the order of delta is greater than two, two sign for uh, theta, then the distance between this dot the two point is given by this, where tau is the maximum between the norm of Q uh, and T. Okay. From this proposition and this proposition, we can take the theorem on comparison, the comparison theorem. So if keep this condition for to delta and theta, so we can we can find 
upper and lower bone for the distance, the difference between D and D tilde. For all pair of points in a neighborhood of, of P. So this theorem we 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 say as as least in 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 some case in the twist dimensional generic case the order or the approximation of d by d tilde is better than one of the approximation by d by d hat because in this case the order the, of the approximation is uh, t square and the order of the approximation in the impotent in the impotent approximation case is uh, t power three half so this is better in uh, uh, close to zero. Uh, for instance, uh, this is uh, the representation of the pose. So, however, this does not prove that the solvable approximation is 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 really better than the nilpotent one. And anyway, it is it is not true for any pair point. So the, the question here is, okay, uh, uh, we have an two upper and lower bone better than the nilpotent approximation, but where is, is, is better? So, and the answer is, is, is better when, when for a pair of point where the translation the uh, no so, sorry is 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 better when in, in what is the the, the direction when we, where uh, the distance the till this is better and and the answer is where the direction of the d tilde is increasing with this uh, uh, condition we, we, we can prove that the distance d tilde is, is better than the nilpotent approximation. So we get two theorem uh, about this, uh, where we give a characterization where uh, the d hat is uh, decreasing because this distance is, is not invariant uh, by translation. Uh, unlike uh, uh, d hat, d hat is invariant by uh, left trans uh, uh, translation. D tilde uh, is not. So this is a character issue. With this assumption, so uh, we can prove that the, the d tilde is better than the distance of the nilpotent approximation. Um, also, for to see a geodesic in, in, in this uh, geometry, uh, the Hamiltonian for the normal flow is, is given for this equation, is traditional, and uh, this is the association uh, equation. The geodesic is starting at zero uh, with this condition, initial condition, is, uh, is defined by this equation. This is a, uh, we can see because the, this equation are uh, easy uh, to graph. So, and uh, we compute the geodesic considering uh, this a, C, zero, and B, one. So the Hamiltonian is this, more simple, and its equation. So uh, with uh, numerical technical, we obtain uh, the bowl, uh, the unit bowl uh, in, of the Sobibor approximation. So we can, we can see the, the bowl. Okay, so of the above uh, is in this paper, in this work, uh, published, published uh, with uh, 
television. Some preference uh, about um, Subramanian geometry, uh, about the almost Riemannian geometry on the group, and the nilpotent approximation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, questions, comments? Hold on. Uh, oh, Adriano, please. Uh, Ronald, uh, is there uh, all, all of these balls? I don't know if it's a much uh, general uh, question, but uh, can can we say something about the the smoothness of this ball? Because by by the the drawing that we saw, there's no sort of singular point of like points that you have like that are not smooth. But is, is the ball smooth as a whole, or is that a no? Because as I saw some works of Agarshev that he he was looking exactly at points where you do not have like this smoothness on the ball. And then as I saw your picture, it seems to be like there is no problem, no singularity. No, is yes, it, the, the, yes, the, the, um, the ball uh, is singular in, in, in the, um, in the zero. So this is a problem, in general, this is a problem in the sub geometry because the question is really is a ball uh, because uh, in, 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 in the Euclidean geometry, the ball is, 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 uh, is uh, are, 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 uh, how to say, is, uh, is irregular. So in this point, uh, this ball is not regular. Yes, of course. Thank I don't you. know if I uh, answer, oh, okay. More questions? Hold on, I, I get curious about, uh, I have a question. <laughs> I get curious about uh, if you can do some kind of analysis of a kind of uh, geodesic fields. You have two geodesks and if, if you can find an estimate of how these geodesks are <laughs> separating each other compared to the Euclidean case. This is related to the question that uh, uh, Professor Luisa Martin uh, did to Philippe in order to uh, try to estimate a curvature in terms of the geodesic field. Um, yes, of, of course it's flat, but uh, uh, I don't know because <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know really what happened with this about this. Okay, thank you. Uh, more questions? So, thank you again.